Hey, I'm Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. So before we get into what we're going to talk about in this video, um, go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload other videos like this. So I am joined by a special guest today. This is Drogo. He is a huge teddy bear that my husband got me for Valentine's Day this year. And of course I had to name him Drogo after what my husband put on his shirt. It says mood of my life. How sweet was that? So. I just thought that he should be featured on one of my videos, and today was the day. Um, so we're going to start off by talking about the book Playing Cupid by S.C. Albin. So this was a book that was featured in the Valentine's Day special edition box called Cherished Choices by Beacon Book Box that I did a video on. So I actually had a conversation about this book with the author on Instagram yesterday, and she watched my video, which I thought was super cool. I was a little starstruck, um, but she also told me that there has been an updated blurb. The publishers decided that they should revise the blurb a little bit because there is some content in there that could be sensitive to some readers, and they didn't want readers to be blindsided by this content. So I'm going to go ahead and read the new blurb to you since I did do an unboxing on that. Um, just in case you were considering reading the book, I just want everybody to be aware of the content that is in the book. I still think it sounds great, um, but I just want everybody to know what the updated blurb sounds like. And this blurb can be found on Amazon. That's where I am reading it from. So here we go. For the past five years, 17-year-old Megan Cooper has built a wall around her heart with little room to experience true feelings. Her mother's passing has left her family fractured, driving a wedge between her and her father that has only gotten deeper with time. The only solution, graduate high school early and get out of Dodge. With one final scene between her and the rest of her life, Megan is paired with a home economics partner who seems destined to dump all the work on her. Constantly bailing at the last minute, with more excuses than she can keep track of, Jay Michael seems determined to ruin her plan. That is, until she hits Cupid with her car. With his shooting arm is significantly injured, Megan has no choice but to take his place. As she races to find Cupid's final three love matches in order to meet his quota by the start of the new year, she comes face to face with the very emotions she's been pushing away for so long. Caught between what her head is saying and what her heart longs for, Megan must must face old wounds and for find forgiveness and track down the perfect match for the one boy with all the excuses. So there it is. It still sounds like a super great book, um, but there is some content warnings there with the passing of a parent um, and some other things that's going on in the book. So it's just good to know that the author is concerned about that, the publishers are concerned about that, and wanting to give readers a heads up that just shows that they really do care about their readers, and I thought that was awesome that she went ahead and told me that, so I'm passing that on to all of you. So the second reason that we're here today is to talk about a book that I actually just finished this afternoon. Um, it's one that's been on my TBR for a long time, and especially as a school librarian, because it is a middle grade fiction novel, and that is Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. And this is the first book of a three-part series as of now. Um, and it is considered a middle grade horror novel, which when I was in middle school, I loved horror books and scary stories. And so this would have been right up young Brianna's alley. Um, as an adult, I still enjoyed it. Um, but with the understanding that it isn't written as an adult novel, it's written for kids. So it, I mean, it's simplistic in nature. Um, but in this book, our main character is Ollie, and her full name is Olivia Adler, um, but she is called Ollie. Her mom has passed away, and she lives with her dad, um, and she's just kind of coping with still kind of grieving because she kind of pushed that off, and she didn't really do a lot of grieving. At one point, she discusses how um, every time she wanted to escape or wanted to cope with her feelings about her mom she would just dive into a book and that would be kind of her way of dealing with that or really not dealing with that um, because she would just escape into the worlds of her book and so she is a big reader and one day she comes across this lady who I think by a river and she's crying and she has a book in her hand and kind of in um, a little bit of an incident Olivia ends up with the book or Ollie ends up with the book 
And the woman says some really strange things to her about making sure that she stays in small spaces at night and um, basically telling her that she needs to d destroy the book, that she's got to get rid of it. But Ollie kind of takes off with it. Um, and then she goes on this field trip where lots of things happen, but she's on this on the bus and she goes to the field trip. She, they visit this farm that has lots of scarecrows. Um, and there are two other characters, Coco Zittner and Brian. And they are very unlikely um, characters. They um, don't really get along at first. Coco's kind of shy. A lot of people pick on her. Brian is the star hockey player and he um, doesn't seem to be very nice to Coco especially, kind of gives her nicknames and things like that. And then after they visit the farm, they're on their way home on the school bus, and they're caught in this creepy mist, and they're kind of caught up in this whirlwind of a story where there are creepy scarecrows, and their classmates are being turned into scarecrows, um, and so they are trying to figure out how to get out of this otherworldly dimension that they've found themselves in, the mist. So I'm not going to give any more away from that just because I don't want to spoil anything for you because it definitely could be spoiled. Um, there's kind of some twists and turns throughout the book, which I really enjoyed, especially as an adult. I love books with twists that are twisty plots. Um, so yeah, there's that. I did really enjoy it. I rated it four stars on Goodreads. And overall, I just thought it was very well written. I could definitely see my older students at my school, I'm kindergarten through fifth grade, in my school library. I could definitely see them reading it and enjoying it. So let me know if you read that book in the comments below. I'll be happy to read those and see what your thoughts were about that book. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.